The road to having $100,000 of crypto by the end of 2022 might seem kind of tough right now, and I think we are still pretty far from it. But nonetheless, let's take a look at our portfolio so far and how much we are in the green, or how much we are in the red, and what we have so far. Hi, my name is Jordan and welcome to the channel. So back in November or December in 2021, we started a crypto portfolio on this channel to see if we are able to amass $100,000 of value in crypto by the end of 2022. And the idea is to invest every single month consistently into the top 10 cryptocurrencies and track them over a period of 12 months or a year. So the last couple of months were pretty bad for us because we were down like 10-20% which took a big hit into our portfolio. But as we power on and continue buying regularly, things have changed quite a bit because of the dollar cost averaging effect. So far in our portfolio, we have accumulated roughly 0.12 Bitcoin, 0.168 Ethereum, 0.118 BNB, 505 XRP, 466 ADA, 4.3 Solana, 7.5 Luna, 24.3 Polkadot, 4 AVEX, and almost 3,000 Dogecoins. So this might be a small portfolio, but do remember that we are almost 6 months into this portfolio and it has accumulated throughout the period of time regardless of prices going up or down. We also did some switching up by using the stable coins during the down period because it made more sense during the down period to fully utilize our reserve of stable coins to gather these tokens at a lower cost. And the other variable that we changed during the last month was to use crypto earn to boost our earnings which made a lot of sense. And if we are going into a longer growth for our portfolio, this is a no-brainer. As such, majority of these tokens are put into an earn program to earn interest over a period of one month, after which we did our purchases again. The amount that we currently have doesn't include the interest earned from crypto earn because it's just too small an amount, but across the top 10 cryptos that we have, we are getting roughly $7 to $8 worth of additional cryptocurrencies each month. So this interest is spread among the top 10 holdings with Polkadot getting the highest yield at 10%. And my prediction for this portfolio that is as we start to have larger balances and this growth on a month-to-month -month basis, we will start to see larger interest coming in which essentially compounds our money on a monthly basis. But do keep in mind that this interest is distributed out in tokens and not dollar value. So it does change the ball game quite a bit. So when these tokens fall in value, our interest doesn't change in token value but our dollar value of these tokens do. So now let's talk about the biggest winner that we have in our portfolio which is Luna. So Luna has been carrying out a portfolio for the last 2 months being the only one in the green and pushing the whole portfolio up. As of recording, Luna is up 31% from our average buy price of $72.20. And if you look at our past transactions, you can see that we managed to somehow catch the dip on Luna when it went to roughly the $54 range. And the most expensive purchase that we did with Luna was recently at $95.60 per Luna in March. And the biggest loser on the other hand is Solana. So Solana has been a promising project but I think currently it's lacking updates and market news which has made it kind of slump. But come the 5th of April, the Solana Foundation will be hosting a special event in Miami. The street fair will take up a block in Wynwood and it's highlighting some of the builders, artists, merchants and users who take part in the Solana ecosystem. And people are able to make purchases with Solana during that event. So the other loser that we have in our portfolio is BNB which everybody is probably familiar with. And to be honest, I'm really not invested into the BNB ecosystem because there are other protocols out there that are able to provide higher yields if you are into yield farming. But overall, I think our portfolio is doing pretty okay and I doubt there will be any movements of tokens coming in and out of the top 10 that we are invested in. And the next closest contender excluding stable coins like USDT, UST, BUSD and USDC will be Shiba Inu with a market cap of roughly 14.5 billion right now which is 5 billion dollars away from Doge. And one coin that I would like to see entering the top 10 will be Kronos or CRO. So the ecosystem for Kronos has been quickly developing and there are more and more dApps that Kronos holders are able to leverage on for great use and we have covered that in a previous video on MMO or Mad Meerkat Finance. And if you haven't caught that, I suggest that you do because you're able to unwrap CRO as a reward for staking MMO tokens. 
So that's it for this month's update. I really hope to make them short and sweet so you guys are all caught up and up to date. And if you enjoy such videos, I would really appreciate it if you can drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video.